Hi guys, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can make a custom header in your WordPress website using the Elementor plugin. That means you don't need to deal with even a single line of code to make your own custom header. And you will be able to design any kind of header with the help of this technique that I'm going to explain in this entire video. So here I'll be making a header, something like apple.com. As we can see over here, it's a very beautiful, very elegant and very sleek header on Apple website. And this header is also sticky. That means when I scroll down header sticks itself at the top so we'll also be making a sticky header so let's go ahead and we can start making a header something similar to apple.com but make sure to create a custom header you must need to have the elementor pro plugin if you don't have the pro version of elementor then you need to buy that plugin but you don't have to invest 49 dollars for you know buying the elementor pro here you can simply visit on a website wpscratch.com and from this website you can get this plugin for just 10 dollars in the search box, we can type E-L-E-M-E-N-T-O-R, that is Elementor. So this is the Elementor Pro Page Builder and this plugin costs just $10 and you will be able to use it on unlimited websites. So with the help of this Elementor Pro, we'll be able to make a custom header. Now let's go back onto our WordPress dashboard. Firstly, for making a custom header, make sure your menus are ready. So I have created two menu groups over here. One is for Apple website that named as Apple menu and second one is for FreshBooks menu. So firstly, we are going to make a header something like Apple. Now, to create a custom header, you need to hover on this templates and then click on theme builder. Now, on the left hand side, we can see header. So just click on this plus icon. Now this pop-up appears on your screen. Here you will be seeing a lot of pre-made header templates that you can directly import with just one click. But when you buy the Elementor Pro from wpscratch.com, then they do not provide you license key. So that is the reason you will not be able to import any premium templates from here. But this is also not a good idea that you import a pre-made template. We need to learn everything from scratch. So just close this pop-up. To create a header similar to apple.com, firstly we need to take a section, so just click on this plus icon and take this first one column section. Now inside this section, we can take another section, so this is the inner section, just drag from here and drop it inside the outer section, okay? Now let's open the Apple website and we can analyze the number of columns they have used. So in the Apple header, there are total four columns. This is the first column where they have used the logo. Then in the second column, they have specified the menus. In the third column, they have the search product box. And in the fourth column, they have the menu cart icon. So we also need to have four columns. Let's go back and here we need to add two more columns. Okay. Now let's reduce the width of first column because we have to put the menu inside it. Okay, so 3.5% is fine. The second column should be bigger. So let's increase the width of this second column because we have to put menus over here and there are so many menus we have. Okay, so in this way you can organize the width of the columns. Now in the first column, we have to take the icon. So before doing that, we need to set the background color of this outer section. So let's go to the settings of this outer section, then jump on this style tab. Here we have the background type. Let's click on classic and then color icon. Now we need to use this color, exact this color. So how we can get the color code of this particular color? Just right click on it, then inspect. This feature only works in Mozilla Firefox browser. So if you are using the Google Chrome browser, this will definitely not work. So try to use the Mozilla Firefox browser. Now here we can see this is the color picker. Just click on it. This icon will be active. Now here we can move it onto the header. So here we can see the color code is hashtag 313131. Just left click and this color code will be copied. Now go back to the Elementor and here in this box, we can paste the same color code. Okay, so it is exactly same like we have on the Apple website. Now in the first column, just click on this plus here in the search widget, we have to search for ICON that is the icon widget. Let's drag it from here and drop it in the first column. Now go to this icon library and from here we can choose an Apple icon. Okay, so this is the Apple icon. Let's click on insert. Okay. Now it's time to go on to the style tab and we can specify the color. So right now it is blue. Let's make it light color. That means white. Okay. I think this color looks fine. E6, E6 and E7. Okay. Also, we can reduce the size of this icon. 
so let's increase the size from here I think 18 pixel would be fine now in the middle column I mean in the second column we have to display the menus for Apple so here firstly click on this plus then we have this navigation menu widget just drop it after that in the menu drop down you have to select Apple menu because we have to display all the menus which are inside this Apple menu group so they are over here now let's jump on the style tab and we can play with the typography but before doing that we can change the text color so let's match this text color with the logo color that will be hashtag e6 e6 and then e7 okay after that jump on the typography firstly let's change the font family so from here we can choose roboto i think the font is roboto or open sans we can try both fonts now it's time to reduce the font size okay i think 14 pixel would be fine now in the third column we have to display a product search icon so the better would be we can simply duplicate this icon i mean the logo icon and then drop it in the third column it's time to change this icon go to icon library and here we can type s e a r c h search so this is the search icon insert and at last again we can duplicate it now let's change the last icon so go to this icon library and here we can search for b a g so this is the shopping cart bag insert okay now it's time to align all these elements because if you can see over here the icons and these menus are not horizontally aligned so what we can do simply go to the column settings i mean this is the outer column just right click edit column and here we have vertical align option right now it is default set it to middle also go to each of these column settings and then set vertical align to middle so it will automatically align to middle the same thing you have to do with this column middle and at last with the menu card icon okay now all these four column items are aligned it's time to reduce the height of this header because on the apple website we have very less height so let's do that as well firstly what you can do go to this outer column and then jump on the advanced tab here uncheck this padding link values together icon and then set the paddings to zero this is the first task then after go to this section setting i mean outer section settings advanced and then set padding to zero okay also you have to jump on the inner section setting but here we can't see inner section so the better would be you can simply click on this navigator icon this window appears and here this is the outer section and this is the inner section just click on it and this inner section setting will be opened on the left hand side so go to this advanced and then set the margin to zero now one by one go to each of these columns i'm just closing this navigator window then advanced and here uncheck this padding icon as well as margin icon the same thing you have to do with all of these columns now it is very close to the one that we have on the apple website now it's time to do a few more things so that we can reduce the extra gap which are appearing over here so this thing can only be done when we specify the section width so go to this outer section settings under the layout tab here we have boxed from this option you can specify the width of this section now let's click on publish now this step is very important most of the people make mistake that they directly save and close make sure you have to add a condition over here so this is the option that makes your header visible on entire website i mean on all the pages of your website now let's click on save and close that's all we had to do now it's time to refresh our home page i mean our front page this header looks exactly same that we have on the apple website but one more thing we have to do right now you can see on the apple website header is sticky but when we scroll down header goes up so our header is not sticky let's make the header sticky as well so here we have to do a very minor setting go to the settings of this outer section then jump on the advanced tab and here under the motion effects you can see is sticky right now it is none just select top so the header will be sticky at the very top of your web page at last click on update now let's try to open this web page in private window 
here we go so now we can see this is the custom header when i scroll down you can see header is completely sticked to the top so this is how you can make a custom header something like apple.com 